morning gardeners it's mid-june and i'm gonna do a video for you on how to feed i get a lot of questions on what do i use to feed my plants how often do i feed them and also how often do i water so i'm going to try to cover some of these things today uh we just had some rain here in the phoenix area which uh the plants really loved and that's actually the best time to feed is right after a rain. Um, with the, the moisture the plants got from the rains, um, they're able to uptake the nutrients easier. But what do I use to feed my fig trees and actually my fruit trees in general? Uh, I like to start off the year with an organic compost. So I have access to a locally made one by um, Jay Behringer and I've, I've posted a video before on that. So my go-to for the rest of the year is uh, this brand of fertilizer. So this is uh, Dr. Earth's. It's an organic fruit fertilizer. I get this one on Amazon. This is a 12 pound bag. I think it's around 20 bucks a bag uh, with shipping. And the formulation of NPK differs, but this one is a 552. It's, it's fairly balanced and not too heavy on its ratio and you can use this for all types of fruit trees um, it has some mycorrhiza in it and some general soil inoculants so I find this to be a good food to use so when do I feed? I feed every four to eight weeks this is a time release fertilizer and it says on the back to feed every three months well in our climate at least, these, these fruit trees push a lot of growth and they're heavy feeders. They, they go through the food fast. So I find that plants start to stall out where you just don't see any growth. They're not really putting new fruit on. They're not putting new branches on or leaves. When that happens, I know and it's definitely time for me to feed. So I've, I've kind of found that to be true at this point. It's been about six weeks since I last fed. Um, the figs in particular, this is their active time. This is when they're fruiting, so they need the support probably above and beyond all the other ones. But my peach trees, you know, and apricots, they just put out a lot of fruit, you know, so they need to replenish as well. So a couple things I use to apply the fertilizer. Your basic garden trowel. I have a lot of heavy mulch so in order to apply this and really allow the food to hit the roots um, I need to pull that back and then just so I don't have to handle the fertilizer directly um, I use just a, a measuring spoon here. It also helps me um, kind of apportion the right amount per plant. So a larger tree, something like this in front here, this Black Mission. This is a two-year-old tree. Um, it's got a pretty good sized trunk going and a lot of growth. So I'm gonna feed this a lot more than I'll feed, you know, the couple of figs that I put in last fall that have only been in the ground for a short while and aren't that big. All right, so I'm just gonna start scraping this back Making a ring around the tree. You don't want to put the fertilizer right up against the, uh, the trunk. That's not going to do any good. You need to get out where these feeder roots are. And that's going to be around the drip line. So I get some fertilizer. And I'm just gonna just gonna sprinkle like that. So you really just want to dust that on. I 
I've used about a full scoop on this tree. And even though it's, it's kind of a pain, you, you have to pull this back to feed. Um, if you just lay it on top, it's not really going to reach the roots as well. And this stuff does attract flies, it has manures in it, so if you put it underneath the mulch as well, it's going to detract the flies. As you can see, there's the trunk, the main trunk. Let's just uh, sucker him. It's empty in an air layer there. You see in the foreground. But I've basically just dug a mini trench going around the tree, all the way around. All right, so the last step to this is just to soak this, uh, soak this in. So I'm gonna run this soaker hose until this whole area is completely filled in. So we've, um, we've run water for about five minutes. Put down at least three gallons here, probably a little bit more. Really soaking that fertilizer in all the way around the tree. And then the last step is just to um, recover it. So just pushing all that mulch back over. back over the tree, all the way around. So just a quick video on feeding. Uh, if you do have more questions, post them below. We'll be happy to answer them. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Happy gardening.